Hello dear students. Let us meet a desktop computer today. So here we are in our uh, computer lab. So this is a desktop computer. The desktop computer is characterized by a desk and the computer. So this requires a desk to keep this computing system. Uh, here as you can see, this is the part which displays uh, output for you. Uh, whatever uh, uh, you want to see that is displayed here. And uh, this is uh, a main part which does all the calculation, the computation, whatever is uh, required. Uh, computation, storage, uh, all those things are uh, performed here. So this is connected to this. Uh, and uh, from this uh, you will get the output then how to give your input so that is possible using two devices one of one such device is called as mouse so this is optical mouse this works through the help of light so uh, this device is a positioning device you can move this device to uh, to choose the position of cursor which will be displayed on your screen and another input device would be keyboard you can uh, give some input using the mouse but using keyboard you can quickly give hundreds of inputs you can choose among hundreds of inputs quickly using a keyboard and uh, now we will uh, see how to turn this computer on usually you will have two power connectors one from the computer so there is a power cable from this computer and uh, one from your output uh, device so this has a power cable here so those two power cables we need to connect to our power slot so we can directly connect those two cables to power slot instead we can uh, connect those cables to a uninterrupted power supply ups system even though the power is off uh, the electricity is temporarily out of our reach we will be able to work with our computer this helps us to save our work and uh, uh, avoids uh, sudden uh, termination so what i have done now uh, is from this uh, my computer is connected to ups from the ups i have connected the uh, power in light so i will turn off the turn the power on now the power is coming to my ups i will turn the ups on then now the power is given to the computer the computer is not turning on i need to press the power button which is there in the cpu cabin i will click on the power button now as you can see the lights the computer is turning on so while the computer is turning on i will just uh, show you some of the common input and output uh, uh, capabilities of this computer this is optical disk drive dvd drive digital uh, versatile disk you can place the disk here you can uh, read it or you can write uh, your uh, information to that disk and uh, as you can see these are usb slots usb3 slots you can connect your storage devices like uh, not just storage devices uh, many devices printer mouse keyboard and the storage devices flash drives can be connected to this slot uh, you can uh, transfer your photos documents videos everything using uh, these kind of uh, devices or you can even connect your mobile phone also uh, our computer is on however uh, one more slot from your phone you can connect the phone directly to this computer or you can uh, take the memory chip and uh, you can uh, insert it here uh, if you have sound devices like headphones you can connect it to this uh, connector so this uh, panel is called as front panel now we have uh, uh, some uh, display so this is called as desktop this area this display is called as desktop so uh, here you have uh, your important files and uh, applications 
applications or softwares which help you to do some work for example i want to get some content from internet i have a application called firefox you can see firefox here so if you want to open this firefox you just need to double click it if you double click it that application will be open now the application is launching the application is ready now you can connect to internet and explore whatever is there similarly if you want to check your files you can go to uh, this icon computer icon this pc you can just double click it you will get different storage devices right here for example if you remember the dvd drive which is uh, right here so this dvd drive is accessible right here dvd rw drive you can uh, put some files there are files like for example here there is a file called fazila maths if i want to put this file into the dvd i can just drag it and drop it to here it is possible let me leave it as is uh, and my files are uh, placed over here in uh, they are actually organized in different files and folders okay so we have seen now a little bit of desktop now now let me turn the computer off if i want to turn the computer off i need to go to this windows button start button or windows button there i have this is windows button there i have a power button i just need to click it now i need to choose shut down now the computer is turning off you just uh, don't just look at the screen look at this power led if this power led is off then the computer is turned off otherwise the computer is still working now the computer now the power led is off now you can see the computer is off now you can turn off the uninterrupted power supply ups okay now it is off and now i will turn off the input power to ups i will remove the connector so this is how we turn on the computer use it and turn it off thank you for watching happy learning